All right, so in this video, we're gonna uh, work on these numbers. And all we would need to do, actually change the font size uh, for, you know, this particular text and this one and this one, yeah. So first of all, let's have a look at the classes, what we have given it to these elements. Uh, numbers all right and in my style as well I can have a look so basically the big text is or the number is number text and then then I'm having a span element yeah and then I'm having number subtext yeah number text is 12 frame span element is 6 rem and the subtext is 1.8 rem that's the starting point so it should be pretty straightforward now let's find out that where and what change we would need to introduce so let me actually go to the inspect elements all right so here okay so this is not working exactly so this is what i was mentioning earlier that if you get some weird results or see some cropping is happening over here so just close it and you know open it once again and see now this time this is working fine yeah okay so the first point which we would need to introduce definitely at 1024 because this is already getting very close and see like you know before we can reach to the next break point this is already uh, not getting fit within the available width and flowing over the web page width yeah more than more than the available web page width so 1024 that is my first point all right so let's go there and now let me write my css so where is my so this is my 1024 pixel media query in this one this is section numbers and what i can do i can set the font size for number text as 8 rem and then number text and the span element inside of that font size to 4 rem and yeah this is fine see the font size has reduced and this particular subtext this is looking fine as of now we would need to uh, you know reduce it at some other breakpoint or at a further breakpoint so over here this is the font size and as it hits 1024 it reduces so next one we would definitely need to do at 768 yeah so over here okay so let's do that at 768 and right after this this is number section so dot number text and here I can give the font size as 6 rem for the reduce it number text and then span font size as 3 rem let's have a look so yeah this font size is reduced further 7 no actually 768 yeah here it is but now this particular the subtext uh, I think we need to reduce it a little bit over here otherwise uh, it's 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 not looking pretty in line with uh, the big text so for that i can have number subtext and font size to 1.7 rem and yeah this is okay back and then forth all right so the next one do we need to do anything at 600 pixels i think no at 600 but definitely at 568 yeah otherwise if i don't do that it again you know starts giving me a problem so at 568 so this is 600 we're not doing anything for 600 but at 568 
So this is numbers section. Oops. Okay, so number text, font size, this time I can have it 4M, then number text and the scan element, and I can have 2RAM and number subtext I can have 1.6 RAM. Yeah, okay, so here it is. Yeah, on the smaller screen, and it's absolutely fine up to this point. Yeah, so this white space now, before it was coming from, from these numbers, but now definitely this is coming like you know you can see this is overflowing and there would be other content see this subscribe and newsletter this is you know going beyond the viewport width and if you really need to check that if our numbers are not causing this so you can go back and close the developer tools and now if you reduce it so you can see that everything is fine up to 500 pixels or still uh, fitting in and whatever the content which still needs to be fixed and which is not getting fit you would see that that would be like you know kind of cropped from the right yeah so this is what is going on all right so that's it for this video thank you so much for being with me and i'll see you in the next one